Good day everyone! Today we will be talking about multiplying integers. How do we multiply integers? In multiplying integers, we just multiply the integers as if they are whole. Now, if there is an odd, which is example 1, 3, 5, number of negative integers, the sign of the answer is negative. For example, 3 times negative 4. So you just have to multiply 3 times 4, which is 12. And the sign depends on the number of negative integers. Now, there is only one negative and it's an odd. Therefore, the sign is negative. If there is an even, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on, number of negative integers, the sign of the answer is positive. For example, 3 times 4 is 12. And since there are two negative integers, which is even, therefore, the sign is positive. So the sign of the answer is positive 12. Let's have more examples. What is the product of negative 3 and 5? So we multiply 3 and 5, which is 15. And how about the sign? How many negative integers? There's only one. It's only odd. Therefore, if it's an odd number of negative integer, the, ans the sign of the answer is negative. Next, what is negative 8 multiplied by 7? So, we multiply 8 times 7 is 56. In terms of the sign, there is only one number of negative integer. Therefore, the sign of the answer is negative. We have 10 times 3 times negative 6 is equal to n. So we multiply 1 by 1. 10 times 3 is 30. 30 times 6 is 1. Let's count the number of negative integers. There's only one and it's an odd number of negative. Therefore, the sign of the answer is negative. Next, 4 times negative 8 times negative 2 is equal to n. So we multiply first 1 by 1. 4 times 8 is 32. 32 times 2 is 64. How about the sign? Let's count the negative integers. We have 1, 2, and it's even number of negative integers. If that is the case, then the sign of our answer is positive. So we have positive 64. Next is dividing integers. In dividing integers, we divide the integers as if they are whole. If there is an odd 1, 2, 3, 5 number of negative integers, the sign of the answer is negative. Example, we have 24 divided by negative 4. So we divide 24 and divide by 4, that is 6. And there is only one number of negative integers, which is odd. Therefore, copy the sign or the sign of the answer is negative. So this is the same as multiplication. If there's an even number of negative integers, the sign of the answer is positive. So we have negative 32 divided by negative 4. So we divide 32 and 4, that is 8. Then there are two negative integers, which is even number of negative. Therefore, the sign of the answer is positive. So multiplication and division of integers have the same rules. Let's have more examples. What is the quotient of 60 and 5? When you say quotient, that's the answer in division. So we divide 60 divided by 5, that is 12. So we have only one number of negative integers, so the sign is negative. Next, what is 600 divided by negative 6? So we have 100, 600 divided by 6 is 100. Count the number of negative integers, which is only one. It's odd, therefore the sign of the answer is negative. So the answer is negative 100. Next, 30 divided by 3 times negative 6 is equal to n. So we follow Jemda's rule. We, we divide first before we multiply because division comes before multiplication. So 30 divided by 3 is 10 and 10 times 6 is 60. How about the sign? So that's look at the number of negative integers so we have only one therefore the sign of the answer is negative last 
we have 4 times negative 8 divided by negative 2. So, multiplication comes before division. So, we multiply first. 4 times 8 is 32 divided by 2 is 16. And the sign of the answer, we have 2 negative integers and that is even. The sign of the answer is positive. So, 